Hi, I'm Radek. I'm a developer advocate at Ceramic. And today we'll be exploring the exciting, interesting, and sometimes controversial world of Web3 points. I'll show you around the Ceramic points library and we'll quickly build an example app to show you the library and how you can quickly integrate points into your Web3 app. Ready? Let's go. So to start with, what are points in Web3? Recently, points have become a major force in Web3 and projects like Blur or Eigenlayer distributed billions of points to incentivize users and build communities around their products. But points are more than just a passing trend. It's a shift in how online communities and applications function or can function. So here's why points matter. Points can be precursors to airdrops. Projects can signal to the community what kinds of signals and behavior they value, they promote and they want to see more of, and that will drive the engagement that they will be then rewarding with points. Points can also help quantify a reputation. Points can act as a measure of users' activity or contributions to a specific platform and can act similar to how, for example, loyalty programs or social media karma works currently in Web2. So essentially, points align the incentives of platforms on the one end and users on the other end, and it makes them a powerful tool in the Web3 ecosystem that is not present in Web2. So for all these reasons already mentioned, we built the Ceramic Points Library. It's a powerful tool designed to accelerate your development of point-based systems. And the Points Library offers a few major benefits. First, you can experiment faster. You don't need to set up your own node. You can start testing, you can start developing without worrying about the infrastructure part of it. Second, to make things even faster, the library comes in with built-in models for tracking points allocation and aggregations. So you already start with a good enough default and you can extend it further depending on the needs of your app. And if you need something more custom, the library is designed to be flexible and allows you to extend the core interfaces for your specific use cases. To quickly get started, you can either clone a GitHub repository, link is in the description, or just run npm install ceramic solution points and be on your way. Now let's take a closer look at how the points library works. The library revolves around the two key interfaces. The first one is points allocation interface. It tracks the history of point allocation events and the other is points aggregation interface. And this interface keeps track of a user's total points over time. So now let's walk through a real world example rewarding users for joining the Ceramic Discord server. You can find a detailed step-by-step -step guide on our blog, but for now, let's see how you can quickly do it. So this example offers a simple demonstration of how you could use the points library to reward your community members for their engagement, such as joining the key platform. In this case, the trigger will be joining a Discord server and this will earn the points. To get started, let's quickly clone the code from points example repository, install everything. Once it's done, let's duplicate the example environment file and let's see what we have. Now we need to configure a few environment variables in .env file. The first one we are leaving as is because we are developing locally. In order to verify Discord server membership, we will be using as our authentication solution next auth. And you can create a secret easily by running this command in your terminal. So we are generating a random secret. Let's copy it. This app we are developing will use Discord as the authentication provider wrapped by NextAuth. 
and to get these Discord client ID and Discord client secret, we need to go to the Discord developer portal. Here we will need to create a new application, ceramic points. Once it's created, let's go to authentication, reset the secret, and here's client ID and client secret. And since we'll be running the application locally, let's add the redirect to a local API and save changes. The last thing we need is ceramic private key. This is the private key your application will use to instantiate a static key DID in order to write points using the library. And this DID will act as the identifier for the issuer of points for your application. If you have the Compose DB CLI installed globally, you can run Compose DB DID generate private key and add it to our file. We're almost done configuring now. We will be using Wallet Connect's Web3 model for Web3 authentication. So let's go to apptsx file, pages apptsx, and we need a project ID here. You can set up a developer account for free by going to cloudwalletconnect.com and creating a new app and copy the project ID value. Create project, ceramic points, app, create, and we need the project ID here. Okay, we are now done with configuration. Now let's jump into creating the app logic. So for our use case, let's assume two things. First, participants can earn points related to engaging on certain platforms, such as Discord in this case. And second, there are various ways participants can earn points across each platform. For example, they can follow, they can post, they can like, and so on. And the point library's default implementation, the points aggregation interface, can easily serve only the second requirement, so storing the totals. For our example app, we have extended the model and defined a new type to fit our needs right here in composites, context aggregation. So we not only have the issuer, the recipient, the number of points, but also the context where it happens. Now let's see where we can read and create points. Let's go to pages, API. This is the request that we are expecting, the recipient and amount of points and the context. And this is the response that we are sending out via our API status and sending the data. So this is where create points. And if we want to read points, it's even easier. We are using get aggregation points for method that our library provides. So now how can I view users Discord servers? In AuthDS, we have a URL that specifies the scope of read access that we need. Identify plus email plus guild. Guilds are the Discord servers that we are a member of. And then we use this access in front end in pages index TSX. First, we are listing all the guilds, which is all the servers. And then we are looking if there is a guild or server named Ceramic. It is also then used in a button where we can then claim or view the status of our points. So it looks for servers, finds Ceramic, checks points, and then if the points were not claimed yet, you can claim the points here. Now we are pretty much ready to run the app and see how it looks. PNPM dev. For this to make sense, you need to first join the Ceramic Discord if you still are not a member. I'm already a member, so I can now go ahead and connect my wallet. I'm now connected and now I'm going to connect Discord. 
we need to authorize the application. I'm logged in with my wallet now and I'm logged in into Discord. Now I can check the status. As we've seen before, it first lists all the servers I'm a member of and if it finds ceramic, it highlights it and then lets me either claim the points or view the points that I have. So clicking on claim points, it checked if I have a ceramic server. I did, so it awarded me 20 points. And that's it. The app is working, the points are working, the authorization is working, the awarding and reading is working. Now you can do whatever you want with it. So as you saw, the points library makes it super easy to implement a point-based reward systems. Now you can track individual point allocations, maintain user totals, or seamlessly integrate with different platforms for user verifications. Discord in this example was just one of the options to show off. So what can you build with the points library? The possibilities are endless here. Here are just a few ideas. So first you can reward the community engagement. You can encourage the participation that you want and incentivize what you need and what users also value and get the quality participation in your community. Second can be gamification, creating experiences by awarding points or completing tasks or achieving some milestones. Or you can use it for decentralized collaboration and incentivizing contributions to some shared projects. As Web3 continues to evolve, we believe that the points will play an increasingly important role in the ecosystem and by leveraging Ceramic's decentralized data network, projects can ensure that their point systems are transparent, composable and trustworthy. And we see a future where all user activities are recorded as cryptographically verifiable events enabling even more innovative applications of points and reputation. So if you're ready to start building with points, head over to Ceramic Solutions SDK repository, check out the points library. We've provided comprehensive documentation and example applications to help you get started quickly. And if you have any questions or want to share what you've built, start a thread on our forum or join us on the Ceramic Discord. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and happy building.